people. After Wait. saying... You're saying they fired a majority of the people? Okay, so Infograms bought out the company that owned uh, Humongous Entertainment. Uh huh. And then after promising, oh hey, we're gonna give you time to do like three new games, mm -hmm. they proceed to fire like 99% of the company. What? Because like, because like they start, because like Infograms was starting to hemorrhage money, because like, oh yeah, they were very bad at decision making. Huh. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna buy Atari and all that. Jeez. And we're gonna rename ourselves Atari while also having twenty-seven different names for, for our subsidiaries that all are are just Infograms. <laughs> Like, oh no, it's just, it's not like Infograms, it's like Infograms SD, it's just like, where is that? Australia. What? Okay. I'm sorry? <laughs> I thought that was like San Diego or something. No. I thought it was California. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh no! Like, Infograms was poorly managed, but they bought a lot of shit before they died. <laughs> we going down? We going down hard. At, le at least, like, the new o the people who bought the uh, Humongous Entertainment stuff, beside excluding, like, the Backyard uh, Baseball mm -hmm. series, at least they decided, oh, hey, we're just going to port all this shit to Steam. <laughs> Make money off it that way. <laughs> yeah, it makes about sense. Also, we're going to buy Bubsy. <laughs> Why? Because pain. Oh yeah, we're we're going to make two games with Bubsy. <laughs> because we hate ourselves. <laughs> because it might just be retro enough that it might actually sell well. <laughs> yeah. Bubsy is infinite, infamous enough that he could afford two new games. <laughs> you got it out of your system? Okay. <laughs> Like, I'll, I'll, like, it's just like, oh yeah, they probably could go through and just be like, be like, oh yeah, we, we can probably make a new game for, like, Humongous Entertainment, but like, eh. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that, uh, fucking, uh, I think it's Viacom. I'm surprised Viacom, Viacom didn't buy Viacom didn't buy them out. Cause like Viacom owns Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that Humongous Entertainment did was they did they made games for Blues Clues at one point. Blues can do we can do. So it's just like, oh hey, uh you guys could have <laughs> you guys could have bought out a goddamn video game studio that's already making games for you guys. Hey, guess what? These guys already have stuff that you could easily turn into cartoons or merchandising. <laughs> there was a timeline. There is possibly a timeline out there where there was like a Pajama Sam or a Spy Fox TV show. <laughs> Which could definitely have worked. Yeah! <laughs> He's like, oh no, like, the four major properties of, uh, Humongous Entertainment. Putt-Putt, Freddy Fish, Spy Fox, Pajama Sam's, all of those literally could have worked as TV shows. Might possibly. Like, even if you just want to do, like, one season of each, hey, you still have four decent concepts to work with here.
Hey, we're recording already, aren't we? Damn right. Editing self. Okay. Zoom in on I the rabbit the whole time up to the point he realizes. <laughs> I've just been sitting here. I, just... I don't know. I, I kind of suspected it, but just like I probably should ask anyway. <laughs> it's like no. We but anyway, asked. anyway, I believe I I suggested something. I I asked you to remind me of something earlier. Yes. Okay. So it's... the scum engine. Okay. First, let's actually make some game progress. Bring that up as we go. Okay. Fine. All right. You had your first rain. You'll get your second one. In. <laughs> Oh no, the second one's not a rant, it's just like, oh hey, here's a history le lesson on American video games. <laughs> oh, what the Hi honey, welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know, alright? Thanks, Bee. I already... There's some bad blood with that name. Uh... <laughs> Please, play anything but another tango. How about another tango? Pulls out Walter PPK. Don't worry, I got him! <laughs> also, holy crap, that's a fat pig. Dude takes up the entire lounge. And we got a croc, an armadillo. This dude's hairpiece looks like a boot. Do not tell me that's not a boot upside down. It's right. a toupee. <laughs> How's business been since the milk shortage began? It's been difficult for some of the customers to wean themselves away. But I have a high lactose intolerance, so it hasn't really affected me. Oh. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> What's the trophy for? That's my cockadoodle foo trophy. I took lessons from Master Hong Kong Doodle. At least, until I punched his stuffing out. <laughs> What did Hong Kong Doodle do? I mean, he takes care of his class, but like... <laughs> so, what does the traditional Greek food taste like? I don't know. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> What's the special of the day, B? Saturday is Baba Ganoush Day. What's Baba Ganoush? It's a traditional Middle Eastern dish. People are going to go away hungry if all you give them is a traditional plate. <laughs> listen, listen. These Smurf... <laughs> Italian Smurf plates will be worth hundreds of dollars 40 years from now. Hundreds, I say. Hundreds. Okay. Mm mm. What's cooking back there? Something smells good. Oh, that's the plumber scraping out the clogged drain. Oof. As I have been around when one of those has been cleaned out, or a grease house and cleared out. Holy crap, if he thinks that smells good, my boy's nose is unique. Professor Quack sure can come up with some wacky spy gadgets. I still haven't quite recovered from his nitroglycerin toe jelly. What? I'll keep my extraordinarily sharp eyes open for clues, so I can find Kid's secret fortress. As I say this in front of a full blown. I ask myself, if I were an evil, twisted, misguided, egotistical supervillain, where would I put my secret fortress? Are you gonna buy something, or are you gonna just monologue? I think I'm gonna monologue. I'll keep my extraordinarily sharp eye- Okay, thank god this game works. Greetings! Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play go fish from time to time, and <laughs> you are- Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play go fish for trinkets. Place your trinkets <coughs> on the table and we'll get started. Here's a question. Why does that voice sound so familiar? 
Like that particular no Place your trinkets on the table. Place your trinkets. Place your trinkets He's on the table. He's doing an impression of some started. character, and I do not remember who that character is. No, I know the, who he's... So, he's, uh, you like the... playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. Okay, I know who he's referencing, but the voice of the actual character. Like, the, the guy who's he's playing. Seems weird. Got any jacks? There you go. Got any kings? No, sir. Go fish. Damn. Got any nines? Bastard. Well, all right. <laughs> Got any fours? Oh, you mother. Got any aces? Go fish. <laughs> that one look. Got oh. any sevens? <laughs> Go fish. Damn. Got any... Twos. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any kings? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Wait, I already asked that. Damn it. Yeah. Got any threes? Oh, you could have gotten that with the threes. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. Well, might as well ask him about eights. Got any eights? Go fish, sir. I swear to God. Got any... Sixes. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Uh, Got any fives? What a fun game this is. Uh, try to check. Got any jacks? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Damn. Got any sevens? Base. Got any nines? Go fish. Got any fives? No, sir. Go fish. <sighs> Got any sixes? <laughs> Pulls out the Walter PPK. I know how aces. to. Nice fix try, this game. but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Oh. So close, yet so far. So wait, how many suits does he have to get? Got any eight? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Any answer until we run out of cards. Oh my god. Got any threes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any twos? Go fish. Got any eight? <laughs> go fish. Damn it. Got any kings? Oh no. <laughs> Well, we're so done. Got any sixes? Go fish. Got any jacks? Go fish, sir. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. Well, kings. time to take the kings back. Got any Dick. kings? I'll just take those off your hands. I love this game. Uh, tens. Got any tens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any nines? Nice try. Wait, he said aces. But you need to go fish. Yeah, he did. Got any aces? Thank you. Uh, how about, uh, eights? Eight. Got any eights? Thank you. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Let's call Jacks again. <laughs> Got any Jacks? <laughs> Go fish. Pull Jack, pull Jack. Got any sevens? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Five? Yeah, go fish. Got five. any fives? Go fish, sir. Damn it. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. Got any tens? Not a one, sir. Go <sighs> fish. Got any threes? Go fish. Uh, ace? Yeah. Got any aces? No, sir. Go fish. Uh, pain. That's one set of cards well, taken care of. Got any queens? Oh, he's sweat. Go fish. <laughs> <laughs> ah, how delightful. And that makes a set, sir.
Got any twos? Nice try, but you need to go fish. <laughs> Man knows he's losing. Uh, jacks. Got any jacks? Go fish, Mr. Box. Got any aces? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> My match made in heaven, sir. Got any oh. sevens? Nope. He said Go three. Fish. He said threes. Yeah, he said three. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> Mother. Got any threes? Forkum. This suits Fork me em. just Fork fine. Em. Got uh, any jet. fives? <laughs> Go fish. Damn it. Got any twos? Nice try, but you need I to think he said fish. sixes. Yeah, he said sixes. Got any sixes? That's one Done. seven card taken care of. Okay, tracks this again. Got any yes. jacks? Go fish, Mr. Box. I just, want, I just don't want him to take our jacks. Yeah. Got any fives? Oh, no. Got any... Seven. Go fish. He did twos. say twos, though. <laughs> Got any twos? I'll just take those off your hands. Nice. Oh, I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. <laughs> I love the verse so much. <laughs> Got any we... jacks? A card. Yes. Thank you so much. I love this game. I win. <clears throat> oh, that's right. You never lose. There's a first time for everything, Mr. Big Pig. And we're out of here. I don't know if we have to deal with him. Here's a number again, that goes out or... to all you white tux wearing spies. Did he just call us a spy out in public? Yes. So I should expect the ninjas to appear from the ceiling now, or is it after the conga line? Eh, after. <laughs> I got it. I mean, this is a tango, it's not a conga. Yep. Alright, I think there's nothing else I really need here. Man, those self-opening doors are really cool. <laughs> the door's locked. Huh. Well, only one thing to do. What? Ah, karate chops the door. Alright, let's go up. Go on the dock. Oh. Oh, so we are going now to play Ghost <laughs> Fish. <laughs> Excuse me, are you the owner of this boat? I'm James T. Drydock, captain of the SS Winterprize. Pleased to meet you. Oh my, my name's God. Fox. Spy Fox. Is this rickety old boat of yours seaworthy? 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 Of course she's seaworthy. The question is not whether she's seaworthy, maybe, but rather whether you're. I know it's limited animations, but it'd be better if he was see. just moving in completely different ways. I am. I wait, and he's just like shifting violently. Oh, apparently, like the they're not like lip synced for specifically because it looks like really a weird affair to me. when they're li lip synced properly. That's quite a nice little uh, toy boat like, oh, you got oh, there. No. Is it, it falls yours? Into the oh, yes, when they're sir. And listening. that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. Okay. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Uh, safe cracker, trapper... Night vision putty. Alright, well, let's just go this way. Hmm. I don't believe there's anything I see over here for us anymore. <laughs> no, I had to look. Hmm. Well, let's try talking again. That sure is an old boat you've got there. I. The SS Winterprise and I have gone through it all together. Hurricanes, whirlpools, giant squid, and even a nasty tax audit. But through it all, she's always been like a mother to me, but without the guilt. What? <laughs> hey, maybe you can clear up something for me. What does it mean when a sailor says, ahoy there? Oh, that's an ancient mariner phrase from a tropical island word. 
Uh, hoi hoi, uh, wap ole. Literally meaning, look out, a hoi hoi bird is about to dribble on your hat. Oh. I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> Editing self, research. Oh, the bullshit meter exploded? Got it. Alright, good. <laughs> okay. So, we got Is there hair. anyone in town who would have a. an imitation? Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Well, not that guy. <laughs> it's never going to be that guy. He just wants you to see his tattoos. Hmm. Oh, maybe Mr. Big Pig. Standard. Well, there is the trinket guy, so. Huh. How can I be sure that all these trinkets you're selling are real? Sir, we at the Trinket Emporium unconditionally guarantee the veracity and reality of every item we sell here. If you find that anything you have purchased from us is in fact an illusion or in any way unreal, please return it to us immediately and we will give you a complete, no questions asked, refund. If your object permanently distorts the fabric of reality or in any way causes you to have a mimetic effect upon which you believe that you do not exist, please return it and we will give you a full refund, no questions asked. <laughs> you do have to return the item, though. Give some we'll guys. You have to re re return the item as it is a lawful thing to do, as well as it will help anchor you back to this plane of reality. Anyway, sorry, you were some saying. Some guys from some government facility try to take it away from you. Do not let them. <laughs> Do not let them follow you back here either. <laughs> they cannot know about the various trinkets I have and their strange effects. That <laughs> fez back there actually makes you believe that you are imbued with the soul of the king of Calcutta. Calcutta doesn't have a king. That's what they want you to believe. Uh, okay, so what, do we give them just a trinket back? Or? Uh, do, do we have any topics right now to talk about? So, what's uh, the secret to your business's success? Three things. Location. 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 That's one thing. So yeah, click on the little word balloon thing. Here's No? Alright. Here's where my uh, notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. Huh. I feel like we're missing a conversation here. Well, let's try talking to everybody. Hey, according to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had... Okay. Hey, according to Spy... Yep. You know, once I was trying to invent an electric tissue paper, but every time I went to blow my nose, I would almost get electrocuted. How shocking. Professor Quack, what's the forecast? Well, my spy radar here says that there is a strong possibility of there being some weather today. Thanks, Bentley. Spy Fox, if you need anyone to watch your back while you're out there, just let me know. My entire body's a weapon. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Utterly, especially if I need some help in counterintelligence. We're just being a bullet sponge. Oh, I'm so nervous about those poor berry cows. They're so defenseless. You've just got to save them, Spy Fox. Please. All right. Don't have a cow about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do we need to climb something? Uh. Where we go? Hmm. What? What? What do we have right now? We've got the putty that uh, copies anything we see. We've got the, uh, let's see here, the trap thing. And, uh, Here's where I keep my spy box. gadget. Go back to Tina. What's the trophy for? 
That's my cockadoo. Dave, what's the story with the gravity challenged card player over there? Oh. oh, honey, watch out for him. That's Mr. Big Pig, the local mud baron. He's a notorious go fish player. The only Thank thing you. he ever yeah. loses is his temper. Hmm. So, B, how's your coffee? Mine is great, but they won't let me serve it here. But can I offer <laughs> you some of the local sludge we call Sua Especial? No, thank you. I'd like to live. Mm -mm. <laughs> what's cooking back there? Something smells good. Tell me, B, what's a bright, muscular-looking bear like you doing in a rundown cantina like this? I ask myself that every morning, honey. Oof. So, is the food here any good? Well, between you and me, sweetie, let's just say it's no coincidence that you don't see any rats in this part of town. What can you tell me about that slick-looking lounge lizard over there? Him? Oh, that's Johnny Gecko. He wants to be the next Liberace of tango music. If only he had that kind of talent. So, what do you suggest from the menu? Last time I suggested something, I got sued for malpractice. So my attorney advised me not to make any more suggestions. Okay. How's business been since the milk sh- What's the story with the gravity-challenged card player of- Mm -hmm. uh, oh my What's god. Back oh there? god, we broke the Something ice. smells good. Oh, oh that's the plumber scraping out. Oh, gee. I'm sorry, P. I'm sorry. Uh, let, let, let's leave. I believe it's time to leave. Because I, I think we need to go back to the dog because I think we can only get a conversation over there right now. <laughs> so, what is it you do here? I am what you may call a glorified doorman, but I prefer to think of myself as the charming and all-powerful gatekeeper. Okay, guy with the head up his butt. Yeah. So, what's the Bon Appellation? Name try to get past this guy. Vessel? The SS Deadweight, but we're thinking of changing it. Can we get, like, an arrow to go in up the stairs? Pardon me, sir, but just where oh, do you go. think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. Oh, there we go. Now we can go, go to, well, yeah, let's go uh, into town and see if there's anyone we can talk to about the I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks, but I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Huh. Man, I would... I'm pretty sure he won't let you do that. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me, so maybe I can do something to distract him. Hey, look, a giant dick! <laughs> What's the teddy bear again? This particular bear was once held by the next door neighbor of the cousin, of the daughter, of the secretary, to the ambassador of President Teddy Roosevelt himself. Really? That's quite a heritage to bear. Maybe select it again? Even the stuffing of this teddy bear is of the finest quality. You know, stuffing oh. is a delicious alternative to potatoes. Oh, I know Use the money on the teddy bear. Yeah, because you want to try and buy it. I don't think it matters to what you try to like buy. I, as I'll take the teddy bear. Let me just get that for you. Ah! Ah, ah there it is. Ah. Thank God he's only three foot and nothing. Ah. Ah. Oh, forget it. <laughs> You're doing this to me on purpose, aren't you? Yes. Well, have Rough a nice day. But I thought you wanted to buy the bear. Ah, I just wanted to see a short guy trying to reach a high shelf. 
Uh, here is the totally real. Not you scene. again! How many times do I have to tell you? This Twice. is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! The nerve of some people. You'd think they would. Yeah! Let me see that. How about eat my. Signed, Russian Blue. How about eat that? Oh, sir. We are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, Dude feel free to come and go his you teeth. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What he a is, weasel. He's glaring dagger at you. <laughs> the way he's tapping his foot, I swear to I God. trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. Oh, by the way, enjoy the swim. Shoves them in the water. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Let you me just really do it in Hi, front of Spy all Fox. these people. How's the mission progressing? He really has no I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. <laughs> I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. <laughs> and we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. I'm good at my job of explaining that I am a spy in front of, let me just say this, let's guess roughly six people there, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, let's say there's a captain up here, fifteen people. In plain view, no hiding it, literally looking at my watch and talking to it. Oh yeah, we should save. I was just thinking that, but it was more for the fact of I want to make sure we get this joke in. Quit. <laughs> in plain sight. Well, what's a lovely kitty like you doing here all alone? Hello, you must be. Russian Blue, noted the socialite and detractive owner of the SS Deadweight. The name's Fox. Spy Fox. What sort of business are you in, if I may ask? Oh, you know the Fox, you. Well, As if I'd I... reveal my business secrets to you. Secrets, eh? You're very elusive, Miss Blue. Of course I'm elusive. I'm a shrewd business feline. Let's just say... My business is international trade. Okay, but you've stirred my curiosity. What sort of cargo does the SS Deadweight carry? That's for me to know, Mr. This really is just As Sly you can Cooper see, the SS Deadweight is a luxury. Let me luxuriate in peace. I understand. <laughs> like we're playing Carmelina. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. What did you say? Nothing! <laughs> hey, that wolf is making eyes at that hippo. Listen, she got them hips. Oh, yeah. Random toucan. Why aren't you joining in the festivities? Oh, he's a nudist. Got it. Oh. Well, that guy's dead. Why do you need a la- Okay. Oh, okay. No, let's let's go in there. Oh, <laughs> well, the punch is lost forever. Have you ever thought of recording an album? Yes, I'm in the final stages of negotiation with a major label to record a collection of Wagtime songs. It's just a matter of days until we wet the papers. <laughs> well, I can't tell he's not potty trained. Uh, so you want to go here, or do you want to go yeah, here? Yeah, let's, let's go into let's go into the captain's quarters. Yeah. Okay. Right, the bridge. It's the bridge. <laughs> With one guy who's pushing one button. <laughs> I like how we just walked in and left. We didn't even look at anything else. <laughs> He's just like leaving me. <laughs> Huh, well, no one's, uh, in here. Guess I'll just start... Start smashing the keyboard. <laughs> Did 
that actually adjust to the time on our... Wait, what the hell? Yeah, it is. A, Holy it, crap, that's actually accurate. It is 11.41. <laughs> that's accurate time. Damn. Not date, but like the time's correct. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's totally June 3rd. And yes, I did mean to slur my tongue. Don't shut it. Okay, uh... Just, just it for says, timekeeper. December 12th. <laughs> okay, I think I'd hate we to see the wristwatch version of this thing. Ah, jeez. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're on the route that we don't need to do go fish anymore. <laughs> So wait, we did just need to go do go fish once? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, in one, in one uh route, you need to win something off of. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Big Pig. But he, regardless of what route you have, you can always do challenge. Now that's into a, a dog suit. Ideal. A general for any game amphibious of it. occasion. A frog Yoink. suit like this might come in handy, especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. Oh god, it looks like you literally just killed a frog. Has anyone seen my husband, Robert? Uh, no. Okay. So, do we... I think we need to learn something else before. Uh, let's go talk to the chameleon that we ignored. <laughs> Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other, but it's strange when she rushes everyone off the ship so quickly. What do you mean? I never ask questions. I have a feeling she takes the SS Deadweight out to sea during the night. I see. Thank you, sir. I see that she goes out to sea. I feel like you would still need to like have like Pardon records me. of I'm looking for the restroom. Stop. This is the bridge. The head's down below. Actually, I need to go pretty bad too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at two chickens and a car horn. Then my replacement shows up. Oh. Well, hang on tight. I'm sure your relief will come soon, one way or another. Two I can gather information about the car. Sailor Watchman on the SS Deadweight with this. I said that in total view and total listening distance to him. I, I am don't a master get paid spy. To listen, sir. <laughs> what time does your shift end? I'm off at two chickens and a car horn. That's when my replacement shows up, and I can find relief. In more ways than one. <laughs> you okay? What's that? No. <laughs> I really am I need to go I to the have... bathroom, and I haven't eaten in three days. Uh... What's that button you're pressing? That's your button. Is he just like looking at security cameras? Hey, that's confidential. You're not supposed to be looking at that. Okay. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I would never dream of doing anything like spying. I sure wish my shift would end so I could get out of here. I should have never drunk those 17 bottles of prune pop. Uh, God. That is... Let's, let's not be in this room with him anymore. Yeah, I want to get out of here now. I wonder what just went through those pipes. Alright, well. Let's talk to Blue about Green Boy. What's with that guy on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadway? Darling Fox, maybe you don't understand that I am an international business feline. My deals are not always made, shall we say, in a single location. I see. 
the SS Deadweight makes clandestine journeys from the island. Very interesting. I never said that, regardless of whether or not it's true. Uh-huh. Uh, well, let's... You know what? We could probably talk to Monkey. Man. What's with that sailor on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadweight? He's a strange lad, all right. He only seems to care about making it to happy hour on time. He makes me nervous. Why is that? I thought he was going to bite my head off once when I tried to look at the maps on the bridge. It's top secret stuff, you know. He totally sounds aggressive instead of just a... Man. Uh... Please stand by. How you doing, Hi, Monkey Pack? Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the spy core computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm Again, sure we we'll find something. Person. Mobile Command Center. Alright, 